Marginal gains has revolutionised British sport, but could it change the world beyond sport? First of all, what is marginal gains? Well, think about what happened when Sir Dave Brailsford became the head of British cycling. He broke down the objective of winning races into all of its component parts. He was on the lookout for weaknesses, latent problems, in order to improve on each and every one of them. By using a wind tunnel, he realised the bike was not sufficiently aerodynamic. By using detailed algorithms, he found a way to improve training. He even started using antibacterial hand gel to cut down on infections and transported mattresses from hotel to hotel to improve sleep quality. Now, each gain seemed small, but they rapidly accumulated. After decades in the wilderness, British cycling has become one of the most celebrated sporting teams on the planet. But think of how this mindset could transform the world beyond sport. Think of schools, of hospitals, local authorities, our political institutions. Think of the thousands of marginal gains waiting to be exploited if we approach these areas with a questioning mindset and a relentless commitment to continuous improvement. Think too of how it might impact on our jobs, our lives. Marginal gains, it could just change our world.